Wake up, wake up, wake up. It is the Mecca Media Morning Show. I am your girl, Shar Johnson, back again, bringing some sunshine to your timeline. Hey, Hiram, how you doing today? Hey, I'm pretty fair for a square. You're looking marvelous in that black, red, and white. Well, thank you very much. Speaking of marvelous, let's give them some marvelous inspiration for today. How about this? It's easy to get a to get undistracted because Satan would rather have you do anything besides sharing your faith. I'm gonna say, let me say that one more time. I'm okay. Saying, it's easy to get distracted because Satan would rather you get um, do anything in the world besides sharing your knowledge of the true and living. Okay, I like that. All right, I'm gonna approach it like this. It's easily to get distracted by Satan. Uh, Satan can be a lot of things. A lot of people want him to be that red man with the horns on his head carrying the pitchfork. A lot of people um, want him to be someone else other than themselves. Uh, A lot of people want to blame other cultures other than their own. I'm going to look at it in this way and hopefully some of you can agree. When you have things in your mind that you know is right, that gut feeling just tell you what's right, or things that you need to do, and you need to be on that path to make sure that it gets done, maybe an activist, maybe uh, someone who just want to educate people and make sure they got some good knowledge, but you have all these other things, let's say a uh, cause, you're supposed to be trying to teach people, but uh you see everybody else going with the cars and you tired of walking, so you want a car. So you're going to go do what you got to do to get a car, but that's a distraction. That's the devil. That's how I see it. That's how I look at it. Hopefully, you guys can get what I'm saying, because the devil can be many of things. Now, that's what we got for your inspiration of the day. Let's talk about that information. Yes, we get all our information from the reported newspaper online.com and as you see i got a hard copy in front of me today you can also check it out online the reported newspaper online.com but today we're going to read from the hard copy and you still have time today any time of the year to get you a yearly prescription so that you can get this hard copy delivered to you So I'm going to go straight to the front page today. I'm going to read what's on here. And I think you guys might want to tune into this and check it out. Ohio, stand your ground. Law challenged as unconstitutional. Now, for those of you who may not know exactly what the stand your ground law is, I'm going to read it to you real quick. A stand your ground law provides that people may use deadly force when they reasonably believe it to be necessary to defend against deadly force, great bodily harm, kidnapping, rape or robbery or some other serious crime. A stand your ground law provides that people may use deadly force when they reasonably believe it to be necessary to defend against deadly force, great bodily harm, kidnapping, rape, or robbery, or some other serious crimes. I want you to keep that thought in your head. Let's go ahead and read this article. Ohio Stand Your Ground Law challenged as unconstitutional. Lawsuit filed in Columbus by Ohio NAACP state representative House and others say that state legislators broke the rules to sneak law into effect in midnight hour legislation. Columbus, Ohio. The Ohio State Conference of the NAACP state senator Cecil Thomas State Representative Stephanie House and the Ohio Organizing Collaborative found that they may be the first of its kind to challenge 
the Stand Your Ground legislation passed during last December's lame duck legislative session. The suit filed in Franklin County Court of Common Pleas said that the law's backers violated the Ohio Constitution by adding the measure of an unrelated bill and passing the package only an hour later without legally required opportunities for public notice and debate. The lawsuit asks that the court to strike down the Stand Your Ground provisions enacted in January as a part of a minute Senate Bill 175. Now you can go and read the full article. Again, you can go to the reporting newspaper online.com or if you're in our area, you can go to a lot of the stores and many different places to get the copy to read what's on the front page for only 50 cents. Hopefully you are a yearly subscriber. Now again, Let's read what the Stand Your Ground law is, and then let's talk about it just a little bit before we go into our next segment. A Stand Your Ground law provides that people may use deadly force when they reasonably believe it to be necessary to defend against deadly force, great bodily harm, kidnapping, rape, or robbery or some other serious crimes. The reason why you want to pay attention to this to this story and really see what's going up and before I even go any further, I want to say big ups to the N, to the NAACP for uh, challenging this and going after that because see that stand your ground law that many of the police officers use is how some of our individuals are not here anymore. Let's not forget our Trayvon, our Trayvon Martins and other individuals. And that stand your ground law helps and backs them up. And that's why some of those police officers truthfully, truthfully was not charged with the things that they should have been charged with. So as I said before, you want to follow what's going on and make sure you know what's going on in politics if you don't follow it because some of these things affect us in our everyday life. Now that we're talking about the information of the day and I gave you a little tidbit to think about, let's go ahead and get us some uplifting and Brother Hyrule, give them that Black Thought of the Day. The Black Thought of the Day. Hey, we want to let everybody know the most important part of the show is getting this knowledge you can't get in college. A little insight for your invite, a little understanding for your planning. Today's plan is to plan to get yourself to a library because those are where the lives are buried. Okay, the book of the day is The Confessions of Nat Turner. Okay, for those of you who do not know what Nat Turner is all about or who, who he was or were, because on what side of the track you from, you need to get this damn book, The Confessions of Nat Turner. Um, and they got a movie they made out of the movie. You saw the movie, right, Sean? Yes, I did. Okay, Rebirth of a Nation. Yes. For those of you who like to read, but... The Confessions of Nat Turner is a, is a uh, his, his truths, quote unquote, of him supposed to be saying something before his ultimately demise at the hands of the Eurocentric America. That's my black thought. Y'all better film me before they kill me. And that was a wonderful black thought. And there's a lot of books that we should have in our homes and in our libraries or introduce them to our children so that we can get some true understanding and knowledge of self. Now that we talked about the black thought of the day, let's go into the business of the day. The business of the day is Jazz Jokes of Ohio. Yes, they're doing it again. On Sunday, October the 3rd, they are bringing to you, guess what? Howard Hewitt birthday celebration. You want to come out, you want to enjoy some good, clean comedy, some live music, and get fed real good. And come on out and let's show this brother that us here in Blackburn, Ohio, celebrate him, especially on that wonderful day. Now to get that information, you can go to the website, AfroHipHop.com, click on that link, Make sure you are VIP in the building. And until next time, what's your girl, Char Johnson? This is not reality TV. And this is not reality radio. This is reality. And when you know better, do better. 
Jazz and Jokes Ohio is at it again. Come on out on Sunday, October the 3rd, as they present a Howard Hewitt birthday celebration. Yes, he will be in the building here to celebrate his birthday with us at the little place. The doors open at 6, showtime starts at 7. Go to AkronHipHop.com. Hit the link so that you can be in the building. Yes, it's going to be clean comedy, live music, special guest DJ, and food will be provided for you. You know AkronHipHop.com will be in the building. Come on out and have some fun. <laughs>